Hey guys, it's Russell back. Now in today's video, as part of our hybrid wash series, I'm going to be testing and reviewing the combination of All American Car Care Products Pink Wash and Wax Concentrate and Zymol. As always, we're going to be using the MTM submachine gun style foamer for the foam portion of the test. This is the PF22 model. If you use this as much as I do, you will become best friends with it. I'm going to be using 10 ounces of warm water with one ounce each of our car soaps and we'll be testing the pre-wash capability and foamage of the pre-wash. Then we'll move to our bucket where I will use a three gallon bucket and one ounce each of our car soaps to test how it does as a hand wash. I'm doing this a little earlier than I normally do it. Uh, it's the morning, so uh, we've got good weather. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so I wanted to go ahead and get this video. Um, I just washed the Accord a day ago and had to go through a bunch of rain and nasty, so it's pretty dirty already. So I'm like, let's just go ahead and get this done. It's really nice outside, probably 60, 5, 66 degrees, there's a little bit of a light breeze. The car's in the shade right now, so it'll look a little different than it does in the afternoon. I'm talking too much again. Got to stop that. Come on, let's go outside and see what we can do. Have to excuse the wind. I think I like the lighting better in the evening. This is uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning, so. All right, I've got 10 ounces of warm water, one ounce of our Zymol, and one ounce of our All-American Pink. Let's see how this foams. All right, I already like what I'm seeing with this combination. This is a very thick foam. It's comprised mainly of small cell micro bubbles. There are a couple of medium cells. It's got pretty good lubrication in it. It's got a very nice coconut scent. What's kind of interesting is the pattern that you get on the flat surfaces. Some of that has to do with the pressure, some of it has to do with the foam properties or the soap properties itself, but we're going to let this dwell for six minutes. We'll come back, see how much is left, and then see what the combination here can do with the um, non-bonding contaminants. And again, I apologize for the wind. All right, here we are back six minutes later. And as you can see, we have about 45 to 55% left on the hood, maybe a hair more on the windshield and the top. And then on our normal sun side, it's starting to creep a little bit, maybe 20% left or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this off. We will see what 
it, uh, the hybrid wash combination did with the non-bonding contaminants. Okay, here we are back, and as we can see, this hybrid combination has had no degradation of our Adams liquid paint sealant. And I gotta tell you, I really, really like this as a pre-wash. This foam is really good. The smell, the scent, if you are into that, really smells like Pop-Tarts. I, I, I don't know why, but it, it does. It smells like Pop-Tarts. So, um, did a really good job on the non-bonded contaminants. It even did a very nice job on the level of brake dust that was on there. This is good, guys. This is really, really good. I'm very surprised. This is one of those times where the combination of both of these is better than each of them individually. So I really had no expectations for this, but I'm going to have to give this a nine and a half as a pre-wash. This is... This is really, really good as a pre-wash. All right, let me get everything set up and I will do the bucket portion of the test and we'll see how that works and removing the non-bonded contam or the uh, bonded contaminants. All right, so we're going to put one ounce of each of our car soaps. This is the All-American. I have done a test on this if you want to just search my YouTube channel before. This is a pale pink. Doesn't really have much of a smell. It is mildly viscous. We'll just put that right in there. This is probably, this is a very good car soap. This Zymol is probably in my top 10. This smells like rich coconuts and it is a pale blue color, pretty much matches the bottle. It's a little more viscous than the All American, not much. But for a car soap that is I don't know this thin it does a really really good job and there is just a little bit of lubrication I can feel in the water just from what came out of the shot glass so I'm gonna go ahead and get the pressure washer um, and we'll see what kind of foam it just makes Alright, so this combination makes a very heavy foam. It's got a lot of large cell bubbles in there, some medium ones. It is dissipating quite rapidly uh, due to the breeze, but it's a, it's a pretty thick foam. Now what I do like about this is it's got, I would say this is pretty heavy lubrication in the water, which is what you want to see. But the question is, how well will this do in a hand wash? Well, we're going to find that out together next.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you my final review of the hybrid wash combination of the All-American Pink Car Wash and Wax Concentrate and the Zymol. It makes you feel like you just ate some Mentos. This stuff is really, really, really good. I'm going to have to say this is an easy 9.7. The durability of the wash from when I start the area till I end the area is high. It really removes the non-bonded contaminants. And these are pH neutral soaps. Now they're not gonna remove traffic film, but there's really not any traffic film on the car right now. But wow, this stuff is really, really good. Now Zymol and the All-American are great by themselves, but when you combine these two, it really, really, puts them up several notches so that's going to be my rating we're hopefully going to get there there's got to be a combination that's going to give us that 10 or better and i'm sure we'll find it eventually but guys i appreciate your viewership i appreciate everybody's um, comments and suggestions on which car soaps to combine hopefully we'll find it soon and i will see you guys on the next video